What's up everyone, Big Black Love here. I thought I'd show you a little bit of my mom's garden and show you one of the other projects that I've been doing while I haven't been on the internet. Me and my buddy built this garden for my mom like like 10, 15 years ago. And dug it out, placed all these bricks, freaking filled them all full of dirt, filled the whole thing up with dirt. It was fun. Got a bunch of strawberry plants here and these, I think she calls them thistles. They got little spiky guys on them, and the bees love them. He's got a bunch of these little viney plants. They're starting to grow in on all the cracks and stuff, make it look really cool. Cover up the little lights and power for the water fountain. It's not here, but this is what I really wanted to show you. Um, I don't know if any in one of my other videos you guys remember but basically going up to those stairs was like a couple of gigantic blocks of wood like uh, 8 by 12 8 by 14s and then a cinder block and I fell out of there like twice because it was starting to get really unstable like it wasn't to begin with but and hurt my back so I said screw it we're friggin finally building the porch and ramp that we never did so pretty much the entire thing is uh, constructed out of two by sixes and I'm kind of a crude builder you know I just kind of built it off a whim because you know the grounds kind of crooked and you know I got some big pier blocks on the main structures here and then at the end I decided I'd freaking dig down and I poured a freaking eight inch deep slab to hold up all that because you know in case we got to roll a motor up there so this thing probably hold the truck and uh, <clears throat> then over here on the stairs, because it's not, you know, not going to be putting heavy stuff up on the stairs. It's just got little patio blocks. And But uh, each stair is set up on top of the other stair. So it's like completely stacked in strength. And there's tons of blocks underneath it. I really reinforced this thing. Of course, I did miss a few, but you can see the stairs are full stacks that sit on top of each other, and then I got them all tied together. And it's a little harder. You see, uh, they kind of look sloppy, but they're all in there, nailed down, T braced out to help support the stairs. And uh, it's basically freestanding because our code you can't be attached to the trailer at all. And you see the big ass heavy duty 2x6 ramp there. It probably hold like a million pounds. Well, I wouldn't know, but I guarantee my dad could drive his truck up it. So, but, uh, yeah, before we had, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm using it for a working block now. This big block of wood right here was sitting on the ground like that. And you can see from the marks on it. There was another hunk of wood on top of this, and then there was a freaking cinder block. And uh, as you could only imagine, I mean, just rocking this, it's, you know, unstable. So, you know, and my dad kept saying he was going to do it, and he was going to do it, and he was going to do it, and, you know, he's disabled and everything, so, you know, never really gets around to anything, so. I stepped up and did it, and now it's safe to get in and out of our trailer got a little freaking back door this construction trailer is you see all our crap we're kind of a little bit of hoarders we don't like to throw away any part we have out of a car that works good you know my dad's got some air horns we got some electric windows here um, just tons and tons of auto parts up in this trailer and um, I'll go show you the other side after I show you this mess that we need to move this is the city made us cut our sheds down and make them smaller and stuff so and we still haven't finished cleaning up from it and it's got crap everywhere that's a uh, Pontiac 350 there sitting under there pretty much just the core motor but uh, and my dad's tools and uh, oxyacetylene kit we got that for free off Craigslist full of gas and everything well, lucky we got that one. And then this is our regular oxyacetylene that I grew up learning how to weld on. 
and uh, generator in case the power goes out which is pretty common around here this is the shed I grew up in built working on stuff this was our the shed uh, storing we got a really nice telescope up there that we'll dig out on nice nights and you know it's pretty cool we got lots of crap and no place to put it you know I have my extra drive lines from all my hot rod builds and uh, remote oil filter uh, double oil filter for a uh, 4x4 uh, 5.7 liter or aka 350 all sorts of cool stuff. Another day I'll pull it out, but my old dirt bike is over there, a little Honda MR250 Elsinore. Pretty cool. And my dad, you know, anytime there's free wood and we scrounge up, and of course it's going bad now because it's been sitting for so long. Most of that's just firewood. He wanted me to build the porch with that, and I just called Grandpa. I was like, Grandpa, we need wood. <laughs> all our stuff's bad. Should have used it like 10 years ago but <clears throat> down there in that corner is uh, the metal scrap slash uh, exhaust pipe area there and we got a bunch of tires that need to be taken to the dump so that's truck from when he lost control of it next to Columbia River and backed it into a tree off the highway at like 50 miles an hour. Look at that freaking, uh, I don't remember the stages, but that's the heaviest duty uh, you can get for a one and a half ton Suburban. And uh, look at that son of a bitch, Fold, folded it like a freaking banana. And you can totally tell it pulled the frame rails together. My dad won't freaking give it up. He's going to try to rebuild it again. So, I mean, it's a one and a half ton rear end, so, you know, it's good stuff, but, and that's about it, so Big Black Love signing out, peace.